Private debt investing has a deep and broad opportunity set. The additional layers of complexity and illiquidity are rewarded through higher return potential. There are various strategies to consider in private debt space. One can be corporate direct lending, which is lending to a private company or privately placed debt of a public company. Another area is real assets debt, which can include real estate lending, both commercial and residential, as well as infrastructure financing, both short-term and long-term. It can include distressed lending, uh, which means lending to a public company at or near bankruptcy. And finally, speciality lending, which includes more niche areas, such as funding of litigation, films, insurance, and other specialty projects. Investing in private debt has a number of benefits. Firstly, its complexity and illiquidity premium is not accessible elsewhere within credit strategies. Next, access to inefficient markets, which means in order to invest in private debt, an investor requires specific skills and specific network in order to source the deals. Then bank disintermediation. Increasing regulations in the banking sector meant that there are reducing lending opportunities from more traditional sources. And so investors find that more private lenders are now available in the market. And finally, private debt is more liquid than traditional private equity. Given the number of various debt strategies available, and all of them have different maturity profile, it does allow investors to decrease the J-curve effect and receive their capital back within a shorter time frame.